So guys, the much awaited news of the year 2024 with regards to open work permits is here finally. IRCC has given more information on the eligibility criteria with regards to people who are applying for spousal open work permits. Now, if you remember January the 22nd, IRCC gave a breathtaking information with regards to international students and also there was uh, another information regarding uh, spouses of international students. Well, they said that spouses of international students would not be uh, eligible for spousal open work permits in the coming few weeks and there were supposed to be a lot of eligibility criteria attached to it but at that time they said more information to follow soon well today march the 19th 2024 is the day when ircc has finally disclosed the eligibility criteria and a lot of information pertaining to who is eligible for a spousal open work permit when it comes to international students and then what is the criteria related to it guys Today's video is extremely important because if you are an international student who's coming to Canada, if you are thinking of bringing your spouses over to Canada for open work permits, or even if you are here thinking of getting married and trying to call your spouses over, then this video you should be watching till the end. My name is Sahil. So guys, welcome back once again. My name is Sahil and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I practice here in Ontario. My office is here. If you have to get in touch with me, my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box. More than happy to speak with you. Before we proceed any further, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we talk a lot about Canadian immigration. And if you are an aspirant of moving to Canada, then this is a channel that you must be subscribed to all the time. So guys, a quick background into what's been happening in terms of uh, international students and spouses. Uh, as of January the 22nd, 2024, IRCC uh, gave out a big announcement with regards to international students. Now, attached to that announcement back then, uh, they declared that spouses of international students, um, you know, some international students would not be eligible for an open work permit and that caused a lot of hue and cry. Actually, a lot of applications close to almost 40% dipped especially from countries like india pakistan and that had ircc suffering right now uh, when they said that uh, this would be applicable in the coming few weeks people started applying for spousal open work permits left right and center we also took a lot of people to the border in order to get them approved asap but then people were waiting for the day to come across and a lot of eligibility criteria had to be disclosed well today march the 19th 2024 IRCC suddenly gave this announcement with regards to spouses of international students for their spousal open work permit application. Now, March the 19th, 2024 is the cutoff date, is the breaker day when IRCC has, you know, given the clarification in three separate sections. And in this video, we will be talking about what are the eligibility criteria. So first of all, people who are applying for spousal open work permits and this is for spouses and common law partners of international students in Canada. Now, after the 19th of March 2024, which is today, spouses of international students or common law partners of international students uh, will be eligible to apply for an open work permit only if their spouses in Canada are studying in a master's degree. Um, it could be one year degree, two year or any length, but it says the outcome should be a master's degree. Um, in a university or a polytechnic, you know, polytechnic institution, or there is, uh, you know, a set of undergrad degrees as well. And the list is there on the screen. Doctor of Dental Surgery, Bachelor of Law, Doctor of Medicine, Doctor of Optometry, uh, Pharmacy, Doctor of Veterinary Medicine, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Education and Bachelor of Engineering. So if the student here is studying in either a master's degree or one of these degrees that we just mentioned, their spouses overseas or inside Canada can still apply for a spousal open work permit. Okay, this is applicable as of March the 19th, 2024. Now, what happens to those who have already applied or people who are already holding an open work permit, a spousal open work permit? Well, for them, the news is that they are still eligible to apply as long as they have a valid study permit. They are eligible for a PGWP. And the fact they are, they are studying in a specific institution as listed on the screen. Guys, if you have already submitted an application before March the 19th, 2024, the, and you're meeting these three criteria, 
the spouse will still be issued a you know a spousal open work permit and if you're trying to extend also and you're still meeting these three criteria then also uh, the spouse is eligible for a spousal open work permit so that is at least a you know a refresher for people who are already here and will be able to make hay while it's shining guys overall this news may not be you know uh, as pleasant as it sounds but um, at least it's a you know a clear marker that the new uh, you know actions are in place the new deadlines are already in place and people can at least plan well for their you know degrees their spouses you know for their education level of education and the fact that if they want to move together to canada while on spousal open and you know study or a combination of that guys overall canadian immigration has been undergoing a lot of changes some pleasant some not so pleasant and rather most of them not so pleasant but yes uh, we will be sharing more information in the coming few days so please be tuned till the end if you have any questions please feel free to uh, schedule a consultation with us we would be more than happy to speak with you once again we wish you all the best and we really hope to see you soon in canada all the best